Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Moore's adventure in Star Forge here. So I've been playing a lot of Star Maid, and so I figured I'll play something a little bit different. It's been a while since I've hopped onto here. And so let's kind of play around and do some stuff. So what happened last time? Well, I didn't record it, but I was coming back from harvesting a bunch of materials out there. And then I was coming back. I stopped there for the heck of it. And I opened the, the container, and there was some stuff in there. So I'm going to run over down to this one that I know of. And we are going to check out another thing. Because, yeah. And then I want to also attack... You know, I have a bunch of these healing things now up here. Uh, I got a bunch of edible stuff. I want to kind of go, I have a bunch of ammo. I'm, I'm going to go into the ship and I want to see what we can find in there. So yeah, so it's kind of like the plan for today. Not sure how long I'll play, but I'm going to try and edit this as little as possible. So yeah, if you don't want to watch, you don't have to. But... Yeah, no, I'm just surprised. This game is pretty cool. I do have a bunch of recipes that we can look through here, actually. So let's kind of scroll down. I do have a bunch. So let's see here. Steel blueprint. I'm just going to go use. And if I can't, then I'll just drop them all. Um, so if I go use. Cool. Now if I go use again, it means I have it. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. This one's clay ramp. Yeah, got it. Perfect. Get rid of it. <laughs> oh, it's this one? Chainsaw? Chainsaw Blueprint. Yeah, okay. I figured I'd have that. Cause I think we made it, right? Assault Rifle. Maybe this is... Ah, it's a different Assault Rifle. Nice. Okay. S searchlight. I think we got... No, we don't have that. Okay. A Graphene Garage Door Blueprint. I also turned the music on. Um, because I'm not going to edit the footage too much, it should be okay. I was trying to, to inject the, the soundtrack into the game, you know, through the editing, and yeah, no, I felt it worked, but I think I'm just going to go with the old way again, so yeah, so if you don't like that, too, I guess too bad. <laughs> Large health injection, blast charge blueprints, ooh, nice, not sure what we're going to use those for. Double barrel shotgun. Huh, that's cool. That's exciting. Container titanium blueprint. So, container titanium. So, there's different kinds. A garrison. It's probably a kind of metal. A repair gun. Ooh, what's that? That's cool. Smoke grenade. Yeah, no, we can make those now. Cool. What's this one? This is titanium block. That's cool. Specock boots. So we already have that. <laughs> Come on, spec up something else. Clay blocks. Uh, this is glow stick. Yeah, I think we got that early on. We start with it. Monolithium block. Cool. Cement stairs. Sweet. Hacking device. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure what those are for. Beacon lights. Unless maybe it's for like another player. Spec Op Helmet. Ooh, cool. We can make a new helmet. Power Generator. Medium. Nice. Nice. Look at that. Graphene Door. I think we got that already. No, we don't. Titanium Door. Oh, it's probably for regular. Uh, EMP Grenade. Titanium Garage Door Blueprint. Cool. So we needed a lot of those stuff. That is awesome. So let's kind of take a quick peek in here. Dark Sulfur. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, what's this? So, repair gun right here. Utility ammo. Allows repairing of items. That's pretty cool. So I do want to make this graphene... Sorry, the founder's graphene drill. So we're actually going to... I should have forged this before running over here. So let's... <laughs> I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back at the base here. <laughs> oh, man. It's going to be one of those episodes. So... We picked this up. What do we need? Fiber. We do have everything that we need. Let us create that. Cool. Spec op. 
Blast charge, hex charge. Cool. Now, I also need... Down here, we need this, this founder's graphene drill. We want to create that. I already created the ingots. Basically, you create... You take the graphene ore. Uh, it's right here, this graphene stuff. Which is created with oil on garrison ore. And you take that graphene, and you throw it into the smelter, and then it creates ingots. And then that's how we make this stuff. I'm also going to make the regular graphene drill. Because it's, I'm a completionist. I want to buy one of everything at least. And I also want to get the titanium drill. Because I want to have it. Right? And I'm also going to make this thing, the repair gun. But, if you notice, where's the utility ammo? Right? Because the utility ammo will be up here. Correct? Ah, here we go. But we see we don't have the blueprint yet. We do have ammo, but not the blueprint. So we need to hopefully find that stuff in the ship. And now let's put the new stuff on. I think we already, did, we already have it on. So yeah, so there you go. Cool. Look at that. So I'm going to run back into this direction here. Oh, no, we have the assault rifle. Haha. -ha. Almost forgot, almost forgot. Assault rifle here. Where are we? That's kind of cool. It looks like it has wheels. 25 meter range, it's a larger range. Okay, that's cool, so we could probably build one of these. We need more titanium ingots. We have the Voltronic ore, so we're okay with that. So this this graphene drill or this founder's graphene drill will, should replace our main drill. We still got the, this is the chainsaw I think. This one right here, founder's chainsaw. Okay, cool, cool. Oh yeah, look at this searchlight. A large light that will search out and, sh and shine any moving target within its search pattern. That's cool. I wonder how much of this kind of stuff there is. Floodlights. Let's build one of these floodlights. We got enough materials. And I want to see if this will stand up or if I need to actually create one of these bad boys. So we need more steel ingots. So do we have steel? 40 steel? Let's turn those into let's turn those into ingots. So basically to turn into ingots, I think you already know. It's just a matter of opening up your smelter, click and drag, boom bada bing. It's like this. Alright. Now it's smelting. And now there's different sounds, right? Um, any creatures? Because we've got to watch for those still. Until we put our floodlight up. Yeah, I won't have enough steel ingots. We'll have to get, uh, find more, have to make more steel, which is, I think, oil and iron, which means the graphene drill. We're going to have to go harvesting. Yeah, man, this episode's gonna be a long episode. <laughs> I'm not sure how many. Oh, I already have one. Oh yeah, yeah, because we created one. So let's try and place it and see what happens. Let's see here. Boom. Uh, where are we gonna put it? This is how big it is. It looks actually pretty small. Why don't we put it right here? Let's see what happens. Ah, it's like directional. Turn off my. F Holy crap. Okay, so. Let me do that. No, don't want that. Let's go back. It's kind of dumb that it pops it right into your inventory. Let's see here. So, the floodlight might not work at all. Maybe, can we make one of these guys? These wall lights and just throw it on the ground? Maybe that would do the trick. Let's see here. I just kind of place it like this. Yeah, okay, that would work. <laughs> just throw it on the floor for now. We should be able to pick them up, though, so that's not a big deal. So let's actually build another light. So this is why I need to go on a major harvesting run. Because I just don't have a lot of materials. Like, we need to get more sand. need to create more steel ingots, which we are, I think. So, yeah, no, it's just... This game is such a cool game. I just don't know why people abandoned it. It's just I'm not sure why the developers would you know, run with the money. Like 
it's pretty slick. Like I, you, yeah, the, I play the game on simple graphics, but I don't know. I find it's pretty slick. It, it does the trick. So let's see the if there's a new weapon. That's another thing before we kind of go exploring. So there's the double barrel shotgun. I should go out of the smelter before doing that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Uh, so we have the double barrel shotgun. Cool. Uh, assault rifle. We want one of. Them. We definitely want one of those. Definitely want one of those. Oh no, there's a founder's one. I didn't even see this. So we're gonna have to. Well, we need to create one of everything. Shucks. It's nice. Founder's assault rifle. So that will replace my main one. Then we have. Oh, that one we can put back. Double barrel shotgun. We need to create one of those because that will replace this shotgun. Okay, and then we got our pistol. Then we have, but we have the founder's pistol. Then this is the the graph, the founder's graphene drill, and then this is the founder's chainsaw. So cool. So we're getting all the founder set. This is a, a rusty chain gun. I'm gonna create it anyways because I'm gonna see what it does. <laughs> okay, uses the same kind of ammo. Oh shoot! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Bah! Uh, that was very unsus uh, unsuspecting. What is that recipe? Let's get out of that. Enter inventory. So that chain gun was actually very satisfying. Uh, blast charge. I think we already have one. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to carry on back this way, the way we were going to go. And I'm going to head towards that red thing. And when I get there, I'll be right back. Okay, here we are coming up to another one. So there might be some goodies in here. There might not be. Who knows? Over there is the ship. You can see I'm going to hit that during the day. Uh, nothing in this one. Okay, so there is another one back this way. You can't quite see them during the night, I find. But there's another one that's kind of encased in iron. We'll have to check that one out. So I'm still collecting fiber because that's a very important resource. You use it in a lot of materials. You namely the healing stuff, but yeah, you still need it. And yeah, we got the Spec Ops helmet now, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, over there I see it. I can kind of straighten that direction there. So yeah, so when I get to it, I will be back. Okay, here we are back on top. Oh, cool, we can kill stuff with it. That's funny. Cool, we can loot stuff. Stuff spawning up here. So we're going to check this one out. Very easy, just go in the middle, look down. Okay, no nothing in this one. But I swore I looted one. So yeah, now we're going to head over. So using this drill is amazing. Look how fast it drills. You get the resources at much quicker pace. So definitely better to go harvesting with this thing. So yeah, we're definitely going to have to use that. We kind of used... Oh, you know, we kind of used the assault rifle. Assault rifle is like your standard... Yeah, standard kind of weapon. Then we have the usual, uh, oh yeah, the double, the, the shotgun. We actually have not tried that one. So, let's see. Okay, two shots instead of, okay, I'm not sure. Maybe the damage would be better. I'll have to give it a shot, I guess. And then we got our typical pistol. The drill chainsaw which hasn't changed I like she like this thing this thing we're gonna kinda play with on the big guys and we're going to go to the back of the ship because that's probably the easiest entry I think and radiation well the radiation damages you but I don't think it damages us enough to justify running away 
That's why I have the 14 med kits. Once we get down to our last couple, I think we'll head back because I need to go on a, a snow run. So we'll have to kind of harvest a bunch of snow with this drill. Yeah, because that's what's holding me back is getting water. And so, yeah, and, and for materials, I found there is a limit to how much you can store. You can store 500 of everything, I think. So, you know, all of these up to 500, which means that boxes and stuff, if you need more quantities of materials, so like if you're going to go on a harvesting run, you want to maybe you know, offload all of your raw materials and then kind of leave them at the base and the boxes. Now I understand why there's there's containers and why they have a few slots instead of a lot. It's because you don't really need the storage, but it's more for when you want to go on a harvesting run. Yeah, it's so much better playing the game with the music integrated into it instead of you adding it in, in like post-editing or post-processing, whatever you call it. Because when I edit it and add it in there, it's it's cool, but Oh look, there's a vat here. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if I searched this one. So let's hit this vat. So we kind of didn't do all the vats, did we? Okay, so I'm gonna eat here. I'm gonna use these ones I find on creatures. Let's use it again. There we go. Let's run over here. Let's check this out. Oh look! Oh, there's a helmet here. Uh, what's this? This is spec op vest nice we still will have to make sure we find a recipe for it but now look at that Ooh, look at that it's a different looking vest helmet that's exciting so we got that so thank you vat uh, what did the vat say I didn't even read the container it's Jay's on fire or whatever or Jay-Z on fire nah that's okay let's not get distracted so we're gonna run back this in, in this direction. Yeah, it's gonna be a long episode. <laughs> I can't wait to go to have a vehicle to explore up there. I know there's vehicles in the game. I just don't know where the blueprints are. So it's part of the reason why I'm going to the, sh the ship here. Cause now do these respawn? Cause I know we looted a bunch of these boxes. So let's kind of check them out. Ah. I don't know, hard to say, hey? Yeah, the assault rifle's the way to go, I think. Yeah, this is the radiation. I'm gonna check this box out, too. Yeah, okay, maybe the boxes respawn. That's interesting. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's weird. Come on! Let's see, we killed this. What is this weird flying thing? A seeker. Huh. Looks like uh, like those eyeball creatures from you know, a D&D. &D. <laughs> uh, Eye of the Beholders or whatever they're called. Okay, so we're gonna go around the back. Let's check. Let's try out the shotgun. Okay, okay. If it kills them, as long as we hit them, I'm getting kind of crappy frame rate. Not sure what, uh, why that is. I know, yeah, my computer goes through weird phases, and I think it's Windows 10, and it drives me nuts because sometimes your computer is going to work 100%. Other times, there's an update, Windows update, and all of a sudden. Just that week, your computer is terrible, and I just, I'm just tired of it. In Windows 10, I like how smooth it is and how it moves, but the updates just happen too frequently, and I wish just there was more control over it. They took away. Oh, come on, really? How did you not see me? There we go. Can I loot? And yeah, I can. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna go inside. I want to see what that ship looks like inside. Ha. <laughs> okay. Nice. Look at that. Ooh. It's a cool looking ship. Oh, did that box just spawn? 
Look at this. Goodies. The the interface always goes crazy when you start to loot stuff. I don't know why. Oh, there's secrets here now. Ah, that's funny. Huh. The sad part is, is I want to loot that thing. Oh, look at this. Lots of goodies. Okay, so. I did have blocks in my thingy. We're going to use... Doesn't matter, these wood blocks. Because they're, they're the cheapest. Okay, we're going to watch our health there. Okay. So, how are we going to do this? Just like this? Yeah, I think just like this. Just gotta watch the health. Okay, and we'll just build blocks. Let's build the good old Minecraft way. Um, yeah, there we go. One, two, three. Like this. Let's get the shotgun. Okay, let's um, let's make sure we. Oh, look at that. It's the big thing. It's these ugly things. Look at that. Brutal. Whoa! Where is it? Come on. So far screwed up. How about we use something a little more drastic? Is everything dead? Sheesh. This loot. How's my life? My life is good. Okay, this is not too shabby. Jelly puff. Now, if this is all it is, just looting these things these things okay there's some stuff here I'm not gonna look at it until we're out of this place yeah oh 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 no no come on man I'm glad I have the armor okay okay uh, I probably used too much okay um. What's that? Is it dead? Oh shit, 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 shit. Woo! Wow. <laughs> Oh man! Reload! <laughs> this is hilarious! You can kind of use the thing to look around the corner. Ah, that's not too shabby, you just need enough healing basically. Okay, now is this dead end? And uh, we probably can't go through there. This container here, so that's it. It's just containers. And I bet you these containers respawn, so. Because this probably goes out, and we don't want to go out. That's out the front. Uh, oh, why am I getting damaged? Okay, anyways. Let's go down this way. Okay. Okay, I think we've beat this place. Huh, okay. So that's kind of interesting. So there you go. So that's this place. Hopefully we got some agreeable recipes. Let's run out and kind of look at the spoils. There's some interesting materials in here. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to come back. That's This is definitely... Uh, oh, I wonder if I can loot this guy now. Yeah, just 
random stuff as always. Yeah, okay, let's let's run out. We got this. That wasn't too bad. Whee! Okay. Cool. Oh shit. Okay. Got some food. Let's get out of here. Yeah, so there you go folks. That was pretty cool. So, as soon as we get out of the range of the radiation here, I'm going to take a quick peek at the goodies that we've got. Yeah, no, I think these boxes respawn, so I guess it's always good to kind of check out this area. Maybe you have to do like future, he runs into this area. So yeah, look, it's all the stuff it just seems to have stuff. Hopefully it's some good recipes. I wish it was kind of like an indicator on the the recipes, just right on them, so that way you knew whether or not you had to interact with them. So now I see um, a thing way down there, and I'm not sure if we went to that one. We probably did. Why are all these guys out? Weird. Usually these guys come out at night, but I guess it doesn't matter. Maybe it's just monsters in general. The reason I'm going after these guys is because they do have good loot. And so it doesn't hurt to go after them. But obviously the stuff inside the ship is just way better. No, no, yeah, I looted that thing, I think. That one on the left I did, the one on the right, I don't know if there's one over here as well. There's a bunch of them all the way around, so yeah. So I tell you what, I'll beat you back at the base. Yeah, I'm not too sure about this one, so on my way back, I'm going to stop at this one. I think this is the one I stopped at, but I don't know. We're going to check it out anyways. Doesn't hurt, doesn't hurt. Let's see here. Oh crap! Okay, okay. Let's grab some goodies. Haha. <laughs> so I wonder if this stuff randomly spawns in every so often. That's cool. So this one seems to be a good one. So we should almost build beside it. Beside it, but that's okay. We've already got our base established, so we do need to get more sulfur. And for sulfur, I don't really mine it. I run into kind of like the desert area, and then there's a way of harvesting it. You, know, you just pick it up off the ground, basically. So that's kind of a better method. I'm going to have to show you kind of like a, a harvesting run, I think, one day. Basically, what I do is I stock up on edibles, and then I go out and, yeah, try and find some materials and stuff. So, yeah, it's pretty fun. Usually, usually I explore to find land, but I do want to create a nav beacon here as well because that is going to help. And I do want to create more of this base. It's not really walled off yet and I want to kind of complete the base. That's another kind of idea I have. I'm not sure how, oh see that green, that green your line that you saw come straight down? It came from that one way over here, the one that's encased. So yeah, I'm going to let you come. Let's take a look at what we have, and then we'll go run over there. So we got the vest, got the helmet, got the boots. We just need the gloves and the legs for the spec op stuff. For stuff down here, let's see here. We want to move this. Well, we kind of want to use up this stuff. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of recipes. So... I'm just going to click on these, we're going to go use, and if I have them, I throw them out. And we'll just, we'll just keep doing it, because it doesn't really tell me which ones, I guess, if I read them, but, yeah, I guess Floodlight we have, Cement Stairs, yeah, I second guess myself, sometimes I think I do, Paint Guard, yeah, that's cool. Power generator medium. I think we got that. 
Uh, this one titanium we might have. Yeah. Okay. Frag grenade. We I think we got that. Repair gun. I think we have that one. <laughs> Ooh, one lithium ramp. Don't have that one. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Hover ship. Yeah. Woo, woo. Laser tower. What's that? Cool. Space copter. Woot woot. Graphene stairs. Cool. Monolithium container. Chainsaw, which I think we already have. Guardian boots. See, this is all getting wonky. Monolithium drill. Is that like a better drill? That's interesting. Spec op vest. Chain gun. It's probably a better chain gun. Cool. Buggy blueprints. Cool. Cement ramp we have. Container steel. Ooh, I'm not sure. Clay block. Yeah, we got this one. Graphene door. Hex charge. And there we go. So that was a very profitable trip. So that means now we got a paint gun. Which we can create. That's cool. Now this thing needs more obsidian ore. We need to make monolithium ingots. <coughs> Excuse me. Container, model, lithium container, beacon light. Can it be colored with paint gun? Okay, that's cool. Okay, that's, uh, yeah, okay, no. So here we go with this stuff. So now we need basically all of those materials. Okay, well, this is what we want to get. It's a buggy. What's this thing? This is chain gun. Okay, we can make that. Oh, but we don't have a forging terminal. So we definitely want to make the buggy. So maybe what I'll do is I'll collect those materials for the buggy off camera. That way we can kind of see that. But let's check this tower out because we saw that green kind of beacon pop out of it, if you notice. And I'm wondering if that means that it spawns stuff. Because to tell you the truth, when I came around these places, I saw the beak. I saw like there's more loot, right? inside of them inside this one as well so I'm thinking that it comes back like a, like every day maybe come on oh 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 whoa whoa Woo. okay let's see let's check this out oh yeah okay so those green you know, beams in the sky they're a brief moment but they shoot over these things. I think that tells us that something spawned in there. Cool. So let's loot this bad boy here. So yeah, so there you go, folks. So that's a day in the life of Starforge. So thank you, everybody, for watching. If you've enjoyed this stuff, then please comment, like, and subscribe. It helps with the... You know, the engagement rate of the videos, which means they show up in other people's listings and stuff. And you maybe get some more eyeballs watching this stuff. You maybe get a few more your subs happening. You know, I've I've seen a little influx of subs because I think it's because of the Star Squadron stuff. And yeah, that stuff has been awesome. I truly appreciate that that crew for allowing me to kind of latch on to their success. But hopefully, I can contribute to their group. And so that's kind of why I'm playing this game, because I, I want to play through this game. I want to kind of explore this game, because we kind of did it with my brother, but we didn't quite play long enough. So, yeah, so I'm... Can we make... Ooh, monolithium ingots. So how do we make those? Do I need a blueprint for it, or do we automatically know that? Monolithium ingots. So I have a funny f feeling... We need to find... An, oh, we do a monolithium. Oh, no, okay, so garrison ore and titanium ore. Okay, this will make us, what, 30-something monolithium? 30-something monolithium. Antimatter, okay, that's cool. Okay, well, we're going to forge the chain gun. Monolithium. 
I'm just kind of clicking on this. Yeah, okay. There, mono, 25 monolithium ingots. I think I think we have... Oh! Oh, man. Hopefully you didn't mess up the, the crafting I was doing. Okay. See, that's what I mean. Turrets and stuff. Okay. So now we need to make some monolithium ingots. I think we can just pop these guys. Where are we? What's this? Graphene stairs. That's cool. Searchlight. I think we have that already. Uh, where are we? I'm trying to scroll down to... Oh, I passed it. Right, right there. Monolithium. Okay, so that's not too shabby then. Okay. So now... Obsidian ore. It's that sparkly stuff. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm going to collect materials for that stuff. I'm going to collect materials for this other stuff. And I meant to say goodbye. And now I am. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Thanks for bearing with me. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.